So can I just say with that, what you were saying before, to, are you saying to feel your feelings um, and the purpose around that is in a sense healing to, to get to know yourself, to know yourself is also um, a way then to become one with God, to know God. Yeah, let's just, let's just summarise the process here. Here's God. So, this is God. Here's you. This is your half, you're a half of the soul, actually. So there's you. There's a connection that can be established between God and you. But your soul is your emotions, your feelings. Anything else, please? Passions. Passions. Desires. Memories. Memories. <clears throat> Respirations. And so forth, right? There's quite a... In fact, there are literally hundreds of characteristics or attributes of a soul. This is you. This is the real you. Not your body. Not your physical body or your spirit body. But the real you is actually behind those two things. It's your soul. And the only way that God connects with you is soul to soul. Now, what's love? An emotion. So, if I'm going to feel God's love, what am I going to need to do? Feel my emotions. If I'm unwilling to feel my own emotions, how can I feel an emotion that God has for me? Very difficult, isn't it? How can you feel loved when you're not allowing yourself to feel any emotion? Obviously, you're not going to even know when you're loved, are you? But if you can allow yourself to feel these things, then what straight away happens is your soul becomes open to a connection with God. Does that make sense? Now, the connection is sometimes referred to as the Holy Spirit. Right? And rather than get all religious on you, <laughs> the Holy Spirit is actually a conduit. You could think of it like an electrical cord that connects God with you. So you, you can imagine yourself got a plug on your crown <laughs> chakra, right? and God's got a plug, and there's this cord called the Holy Spirit, and God's just waiting to plug this cord into you. Right? <laughs> just waiting to plug the cord into you. It's always going the crown. <laughs> so that's, but it's in the soul. Of course it doesn't go in a crown physically, because this is our physical body, and we're talking about the plug's actually in our soul, right? plug is in your feelings, your emotions, your passions and desires. What actually happens is when you open up yourself and you begin to have a desire for God's love to enter you, what that basically is uncovers your plug. And the Holy Spirit plugs into you. The Holy Spirit is this conduit. So you can think of it as a conduit. You know what I mean by that? A cord or a cable, a conduit, for, via which the love flows. From God into you. Right. Now, the Holy Spirit is sometimes also called the Spirit of Truth. So, what does that tell you about the Holy Spirit? The conduit, the plug. The plug can only go into you when you are in a state of truth. As soon as you are not in a state of truth, and I'm talking in relative to God's truth here, then there's a disconnection. And you need to use your will, your desire, your passion to sort out why you don't want to be in a state of truth. Now, it could be that you're just very, very angry with men. And, you know, and the only problem is that half, you could say, half of God's qualities are... Masculine. <laughs> so you're in trouble. You're, you're denying half of God if you do that, right? Could be that, right? Or you could just be very upset with women, right? And half of God's qualities are feminine. So obviously you're not going to be able to feel love coming from the feminine side of God if inside of yourself you're angry with the feminine or the masculine. Can you see that? So, this Holy Spirit, or the Spirit of Truth, is the thing, the conduit, that is established by one thing, and it's by prayer. And what did I define prayer as? The pure, pure desire. desire. 
Now, when you develop a pure desire in your heart to actually long for God, when you long for God, that begins opening up your soul. Now, how many of you, when you watch the DVDs, the very first DVDs about the introduction one of the universe, how many of you felt really different during that and afterwards? How many of you felt really different when you were watching it? Because your soul was beginning to open up. And as soon as your soul begins opening up, you start becoming more and more emotional. That's the natural result of your soul opening up. Emotional is good. <laughs> Isn't it? Like, so many of us feel it's bad, don't we? How, how, you look at the world today. Isn't it geared for emotional suppression? Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. You know you go to work. Are you allowed to cry at work? No. Uh, why is that? doesn't make any sense, like it's eight hours of your day and lots of stress. Of course you're going to want to cry at times of week, don't you? Right? Yeah. And then they can give you things like stress leave. Why do they have to do that? Because you didn't cry. 